Hello, Jesse Good here. Today we're taking a look at the Lego Flintstone set released under Lego Ideas in March 2019 with four minifigures, 748 pieces, and it retails for $60 in the United States. Here is Fred Flintstone, and this minifigure is fantastic. One of my favorites this year. The design for the torso is perfect. The design for the legs is perfect, how they use dual molding and then printing on the side of the legs for the pants, which just continues all the way around. That looks fantastic. And the face is pretty darn good. I just wish it was maybe a closed mouth because this is his only facial expression. I understand why. We can see that mouth design cannot be covered at the back. So it kind of makes sense why they didn't do an alternate facial expression. You have his back uh, torso printing. Also, this black hair piece, which is Emmett's hair in black. First time we're getting it. Fantastic, very useful design and coloring for that piece. So I hope they make that in more sets, but it's great that we get it here. And much of what I said about Fred, I could say about his best friend, Barney Rubble. I mean, the design of this is fantastic, capturing a classic cartoon character with some great dual molded printed legs, no back facial expression as well for the same reasons as Fred, and Emmett's hair in a new color, this time a yellow, which very useful. Hope they put that in more sets. But yeah, don't have too much else to add here. Just a fantastic figure overall, and I love how these came out. And we have Fred's wife, Wilma, just like the other two, new face, torso, and leg printing. That looks fantastic with the dual molded legs and printing on the side of the legs that is all captured really well. Now, unlike the other two, she does have a dual sided face where we have this one facial expression right here. And then on the back, we have a very frustrated or confused facial expression that I think is very expressive and I love how that came out. Also, I love getting this hair piece in this orange color. It's the first time we're getting it. And finally, we have Betty Rubble. And the design of this is phenomenal as well. I mean, I just keep saying that about these figures. It makes me want Pebbles and Bam Bam because they did a great job with these. New face, torso, legs. Legs are dual molded with that great pants design. And we have some back torso printing. Also a hair piece. The only one out of all four of the minifigures that is not exclusive to this set in that color. We do have a new face print that is dual sided. And this back facial expression is so cute and could definitely be used outside of the set. So I really love how that came out, but that's it for the minifigures. Let's take a look at the build. So the Flintstones house has a gorgeous exterior that really captures the cartoony look from the show. Not only portraying the stone house, but also the color of the show, which I really like. There's a very nice blue on the door. The drapes have a very nice uh, printed one by three tile design of this tiger design, which I think is gonna be really popular outside of this set. Also, these plants at the front are very nice purple, or I guess lavender, whatever you wanna call it. I'm not good with Lego colors, guys, I'm sorry. There's two bottles at the front. And the side design on both sides uses this very interesting studs not on top technique where they make you build uh, built similar to this with these curves and just kind of add it to the design on the sides of the set. And finally, on the interior, there's a lot going on. These platforms right here are on hinges, so you could open them up to get a better look. And the roof can be very easily removed just by lifting it up. I was kind of interested in how this was built because it doesn't actually clutch on to any studs or anything. Rather, it just sits on the positioning they have, the roof frame, I guess you could say. And it fits in there pretty well. If you move it, there's no sliding off or anything like that. The only way to remove it is if you flipped it upside down or you lifted it up just like that. So that works. And the front end has some great interior detailing, like this nice two by four printed tile of a woolly mammoth. The sofa, which you could fit about two minifigures on there. This nice part usage of the new Unikitty cloud stand piece, which holds some fruit in there. It's actually a red cherry and a lime cherry. And this TV. And the TV has an exclusive printed 2x4 of a news report that shows that Dino is missing, which is just their way to write him out of this set. There are these two antennas right up there. And also this back part. And I like just the shaping of it in general, how they use these studs not on top techniques with the double cheese slopes on the side. It's a really good build. But before we place the TV back, notice the little drawers on the side right here. Also this door and how it's built, which is kind of interesting. They use this pull piece and it just opens like that. Just an unconventional build for a Lego door. 
But now with the TV back in place, I'll put the roof back as well. And let's take a look at these back ends of the interior. Which this area gives a little bit more space to the interior as you have more walking room. There's a nice build for the phone right here, which I really like how that came out using the croissant piece in white, which is actually kind of hard to find in that color. So that's really cool. And it's just an interesting build in general. And then on this side, we have a lamp build, which is pretty simple, but still pretty nice. And also a bowling pin set, which gives three builds for bowling pins. I like how those came out as well as a bowling ball piece, which is just a simple use of that Technic ball. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cute little set and I like how it all fits in that crate. One last part I wanted to highlight with the core house build is the build for the tree and the chimney, which the chimney is actually one of the most annoying builds of the set, but it looks gorgeous, so I don't mind it too much. Basically, you build up this plate three times and lining all those up is a pain in the butt. But again, it works very well and just gives more to the authentic design. And I even like how they did a little top right here, how they use these two macaroni pieces and then one of the more, I guess, rigid uh, corner pieces right there. Also, the build for the tree looks gorgeous and there's a very nice use of the flesh plain mini figureheads, which is very hard to get. So I'm glad that they're reprinting it in this set. And how they make that look a little bit uh, tilted or slanted, they use a hinge piece at the bottom and then one of these uh, long, I think they were originally used for like tails or tusks or whatnot. And overall, it's just a fantastic build in my opinion. Oh, and before we move on to the car build, just wanted to point out this little mailbox, which I like the printed piece they use on the side right here. It has almost an outline to the lettering, which I thought was gonna be a sticker, but nope, no stickers in the set. And there's even a little mail in there, just a standard printed one by two letter design. What I don't like though, is that it's just on a random platform. The Simpsons house had the same problem where the mailbox is just on a random platform. And in my opinion, it looks kind of jarring when you have this big build with all this connection and then just a little platform on the side, not even connected. I don't know, it would have been better connected in my opinion. Finally, there's the car, and a lot of people don't like how this was changed from the Ideas product. I don't mind too much because the Ideas project had a very cool one, but it seemed like it wasn't really using legal builds on the top roof or it was using very complicated builds. Just using this little cloth piece, I don't mind whatsoever because this is one of the easy cloth pieces to put on and, and remove. And it is a custom cloth cut just for this set, but you can move it by pushing down on the vehicle and pulling forward or backward. I like how these wheels do move. You just have to get it on a really flat surface. I also like how they use this newer print of these log pieces on the sides. They even use it as a steering wheel as well. If you want a better look at the interior, the new roof design is very easy to open with these hinge parts at the back. And you get a look at that steering wheel, which unfortunately doesn't wobble around. It would have been cool if they put on like a swivel, but I understand why they didn't. And it does have enough uh, space to fit four minifigures in, which is pretty interesting as well. You could even adjust the back rest if you remove these two, move it up and down. And this part right here, if you're not familiar, is a rib and it's an optional part of the vehicle, which you could just remove. Uh, the build of it is very simple, but uh, it is just a nice addition that, again, I'm probably not going to display this on because it looks a little bit distracting from the main Flintstones car build but it's cute that they included it and that it is so easy to remove if you'd like. But that's it for the build of the set. Let's take a look at the packaging and the final verdict. So here's the box for this set, which is one of those ideas boxes that you could open up and reuse, which I adore those because they're great for storage. And the back shows some more play features and designs of the set. As for the instructions, again, very good material used for idea sets, which even has introductions and such, which I adore those always because it just gives a little bit of context to the sets. You get those in multiple languages and that's really it. There's not much ads or anything in the instructions and you can fill out a little survey as if you'd like the set or if you didn't like the set. So overall, I love the build for the house because I just think it looks like it's straight out of a cartoon, as it should, because that's what the Flintstones is. And the design of it has so much crazy shapes and curves that I haven't seen built in other LEGO official sets, so I really appreciate that. Wish the inside was a little bit more substantial in what's included. 
the build of the car I think is pretty fine how it is. It wasn't my favorite part of the project, so I think I'm less particular about how it changed from the original project. But I think the final product is very good in terms of playability and how they could fit all four of the minifigures. And the four minifigures themselves are all great. I don't have any complaints with any of those. I kind of understand now why they didn't include an alternate face for Barney and Fred. I just wish they included Pebbles and Bam Bam, which were in the original project. Even for a $60 set, I feel like the content of the set is there in terms of the build. It does feel like both of the builds equal the price. It's just that in terms of the minifigures, we usually expect a little bit more than four for $60. So those two emissions really stand out. So as a whole, I rate this one a B plus. Really like how this one turned out. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.